In order to craft the Ultima weapon, you will need seven copies of the Orichalcum Plus material, two copies of the Wellspring Crystal material, two copies of the Lucid Crystal material, and two copies of the Pulsing Crystal material. Some of the Orichalcum Plus materials will require uh, further effort in order to obtain them, in which case I've created guides in order for you to find out how to do so uh, down in the description down below. The first Orichalcum Plus can be found within the Twilight Town area. Just head to the Moogle shop. Uh, the best way that I went about doing this was just simply buying and selling about five potions each at the same time and then backing out. Doing so will have the Moogle shopkeeper reward you with a postcard every once in a while. Continue doing this process until you've accum accumulated at least around 10 postcards more or less. Once you've done so, go ahead and go back to the save point and save your game file. This will become important later on. Now you can go to the mailbox and start submitting all of the postcards you currently have in your position. Don't worry though, even if you didn't attain the Orchocon Plus in the initial run through, if this message pops up for you, letting you know that you've run out of postcards to submit, don't worry, just go back to the save point that you just saved your game and just go to the title screen. Once you're there, go ahead and load the save file that you just saved. You're essentially doing a soft reset so that way you can get all of your postcards back uh, and continue submitting them into the mailbox until you obtain your copy. Because obtaining the Orichalcum Plus this way is really random, doing this will allow you to eventually get your own copy of Orichalcum Plus. The next Orichalcum Plus can be found inside a chest in the Caribbean world. Just head to Exile Island and once you're there, go to the very center of it. In the center of the island, there will be a chest that contains the Orichalcum Plus material. An Orichalcum Plus can be found inside a chest in the Keyblade Graveyard world. Uh, just go ahead and head towards the Badlands location and head behind you back towards where the two uh, portals are. And you'll want to head towards the one that takes you back to the final world location. Once you're there, on the left hand side will be a chest. Inside the chest will be the Orichalcum Plus material that you need for the synthesis. You can get an Orichalcum Plus by getting a high enough high score on all seven of the fantastic minigames throughout the game. If you need a guide in order to find a location for all these, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below for you to check out. But completing it will reward you with a trophy on top of receiving the Orichalcum Plus. You can get an Orichalcum Plus by finding all of the lucky emblems within the game. A guide for finding all of them will be left in the description down below. You can get an Orichalcum Plus by completing the Frozen Sliders minigame in Arendelle by finding all 10 of the Frozen Sliders within the minigame. Doing so will reward you with an Orichalcum Plus. A guide for finding all 10 of the sliders will be left in the description down below. Last but not least, the final Orichalcum Plus can be obtained by defeating the Omega Machina Gummy Boss fight. Defeating him will reward you with an Orichalcum Plus. If you need to find out how to summon the Omega Machina, because it is a little bit of a process, I'll be leaving a guide in the description down below for you to go ahead and check out. Now that we've obtained all of the Orichalcum Plus materials necessary for the synthesis, now you just need the Wellspring, Lucid, and Pulsing Crystals left in order to synthesize. First up though, I do highly recommend that you go to your equipment and equip the favorite Deputy Keyblade first before farming for these materials. Just because the fact it has Lucky Strike, this will become useful for farming. To farm Wellspring Crystals, you can just go to the San Francisco world, go to the North Come District. On, From here, go ahead and climb the topmost tower that's on here on the screen. Your objective is to head towards the Battlegate 12 portal that's on the very top of it. Uh, you'll essentially be repeating the Battlegate 12 over and over until you've accumulated enough Wellspring Crystals. 
by doing so. They will most likely drop from the little minotaur uh, looking heartless that are in this challenge. You can find lucid crystals by heading towards the Isle of Luck Island in the Caribbean world. Once you've done so, go ahead and head towards the center of the island. From here, some heartless should appear, about three of them. These in particular are the specific type of heartless that can drop the lucid crystals. Now in the off chance that you don't actually obtain enough copies of the lucid crystal on your first battle per se, you can just go back to your ship and fast travel back to the same exact island even if you're already located there. Doing so will reset the enemies that spawn there so that way you can just go back to the island and keep fighting them until you farm enough crystals. Pulsing crystal can be found in the Arendelle world. Just go ahead and head towards the Foothills location save point. In this area you can pretty much just run around and start fighting Heartless. You'll be looking for any of the minotaur looking type of heartless. These are the ones who are most likely going to drop the pulsing crystals. They are scattered quite a bit around the place. So you can just keep farming this location until you've obtained enough pulsing crystals. Once you have obtained all of your items, go ahead and head back towards the Mughal shop. Go to the Synthesize shop, and from here you should be able to craft the Ultimate Weapon Keyblade. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this guide helped you guys.